Welcome to Wombat Coaching. Hi, my name is Neil. Well, hopefully you've watched my last video and you've now opened a KDP account. If you're still having trouble, uh, you can drop me a line below and I'll see what I can do. But hopefully you're up and running or you have been running for some time and now you're just back here looking for some extra tips. So what sort of book are you looking at creating? KDP has the option to create ebooks, low content books like journals and diaries, colouring books, activity books, children's story books. You can publish a novel on KDP. You can publish how-to books, cookbook. I'm sure there's lots more. Now you can create them in paperback or hardcover. There are some conditions in relation to how you uh, set them up for either paperback or hardcover, but the option is available to you. So if you're interested in creating an ebook that is normally read through a Kindle reader, Kindle have the option to downloading a Kindle creator tool. The Kindle create tool is very simple to use. You download the software, and you add your content. And when you have finished, you upload the format back into KDP and the ebook pretty much becomes live and is accessible on uh, Kindle devices or Kindle readers. And the Kindle readers are obviously available as apps on smartphones and tablets. For a paperback or hardcover book, you'll need software to help you create that content. A lot of people use Microsoft Word, Google Docs, Pages on the Mac, PowerPoint, uh, and some people even use Canva to create their content. I'm sure that many other software applications would be suitable for creating your content. Before you start creating your content with this software, you need to know what your settings will be for your margins. KDP books have quite a variety of sizes and book types, uh, paper quality, colour, black and white. So you need to know what the settings will be before you start creating using your software. KDP require a bleed line set up for your books. So when the book is finally published and printed, all the important information will be printed and uh, available. Nothing worse than having a book sent to the, uh, the printer and when they do the cutoff, uh, half the title has been uh, removed. And this is generally the case when margins and bleed lines have not been set up in the document and uh, has caused that problem. When you do upload your book to KDP, there are a lot of checks and balances done by KDP before they approve the publishing of your book. And in many instances, you will get a message saying that your margins or your bleed lines aren't correct and for you to adjust. So there are those checks and balances in place. Sometimes your book can slip through and then you're left with a situation that where the book may then be printed and half the uh, heading uh, or some of the images may have been cut off and you don't want that on your book. But having said all that, KDP do provide you with a lot of information about how to set up your pages on the various software applications you are using. KDP have a lot of training on their website. What I'll do now, I'll take you through the KDP website to where this training information is available. So on the KDP main uh, page where your bookshelf reports, community and marketing is listed, you'll see that about a quarter way down the page to the left-hand side, there's a little bit of text that says create book, book timelines, free ISBNs and tools and resources. If we click on tools and resources, this will open up the training available through KDP. And as you can see in the contents there, there's information in relation to your formatting of your manuscript, a paper book and hardcover, 
and also your ebook. The cover formatting resources as well, because you, your cover also has to meet those guidelines as well. There are calculators to help you determine the size and the margins for your page and for your covers. There are previewer tools and there's information there in relation to uploading files. It takes you through quite an extensive training program and I suggest that at some point everybody who's seriously interested in getting started on KDP that you actually go through this online training in order to uh, understand the processes. In some instances, you will find that you'll need some of the information that's provided in this training. And it's quite involved and it's quite handy and um, Amazon are there to help. If ever you do get stuck, their support is, is very good and you can email the, the staff there at KDP and they usually get back to you within 24 hours. Quite a good service, unlike many others out there. Now, if you want to start with a low content book, that's just a matter of working out what your content's going to be, whether it be a journal, and if you're going to repeat that particular page throughout your book. Now, that can be done in many of the software applications that I've discussed. Some have shortcuts where you can copy multiple pages quickly, but sometimes there are still some issues with those types of programs in getting your content looking good. When you have completed designing your content in a program like Word, you can upload the finished document straight into KDP as a Word document, or it can be saved as a PDF. If you feel it might be a little bit challenging creating a cover with your first book, no need to worry as KDP offer a cover creation section when you upload your book. Once your manuscript has been uploaded, the next section is to upload your cover or create a cover. So KDP will help you create a cover within the application of, of publishing your book. It's not too bad. You can even add additional photos to that program and uh, it will put headings in for you. And because it's been generated through KDP, there's not going to be any issues in relation to uh, bleed or the margins being incorrect. However, if you would like to design your own cover, you can do that in various programs. You can do it through Word. But like I said previously, you need to set up your margins, your page size for that cover. Canva is another good program which allows you to design covers for KDP books and there are some great resources within Canva to do this. You can even open up a free account with Canva and get started. Would you like to have access to a program that takes out all the guesswork and at the same time it creates your content and your cover with all the correct margins and dimensions. If you're interested let me tell you about BookBolt. BookBolt makes the whole KDP process easy. It takes out all the guesswork and is loaded with lots of tools and resources. If you are looking at starting a journal or an activity book, then BookBolt has these resources as part of the package. BookBolt also includes templates for you to use as well as images from Pixabay that are commercial free for use. BookBolt has a variety of text and editing tools which allows you to design your book easily within the program. BookBolt has templates to create activity books using word search, crossword puzzles, Sudoku and many more. It has a cover creator which is so easy to use and so many resources to assist you in creating a fantastic cover. You can also upload any images or photos you want to add to your book. Creating multiple pages 
in BookBolt is a breeze. You just tell it how many pages you want to duplicate and away it goes. Once you have completed your creation in BookBolt, it then allows you to download your entire package as a PDF. This PDF file can then be uploaded when you're publishing the book on KDP. If you have followed all the correct procedures when, when creating your book in BookBolt, then generally you will have no errors when publishing your book on KDP. On top of that, there is a ton of extra training and research material available with BookBolt. BookBolt offers access to keyword searching and product information, which allows you to do the research required to find that niche for your book. BookBolt has a stack of videos for reference, as well as FAQ and other resources to assist you creating your book and using BookBolt. BookBolt saves you time and eliminates any guesswork. Now, BookBolt has a three-day free trial. And if you like it after that period of time, there is a subscription. Now, you are starting your KDP business and there's going to be some expense involved if you want to get this business up and running off the ground. And the cost for BookBolt is extremely low. BookBolt has two plans, the newbie at $9.95 a month or the pro at $19.95 a month. Now, the newbie gives you access to all the basic features of BookBolt, but not all the extra activities like word, search, etc. The pro version gives you full access to all those extra tools. It's certainly worth the extra cost. But I do have a deal sweetener for you. If you decide to sign up to BookBolt, use the coupon Wombat Coaching when you place your subscription order and you receive a 20% discount on your subscription. I have included a link below in the description as well as the coupon word. I started off using Microsoft Word and I did a few books with it and I wish I found BookBolt earlier. BookBolt is just a lifesaver. Everything is much quicker when you use BookBolt. Like I said, I wish I had found BookBolt much earlier. I use it every day and my wife also uses BookBolt and it allows us to publish several books a day. That's the speed you have using BookBolt. Could never achieve that using uh, Word or any other software. We're very happy with BookBolt. Let me take you for a quick tour of BookBolt. I'm sure you will be impressed. When you open up BookBolt, you're presented with what looks like a word processing program. And as you can see, down the left-hand side, you can add pages. When you go to set up a new project, you click on Project, New Project, and here is where you determine what type of book, which is consistent with what's shown on KDP, the project name, so that can be the name of the book, the trim size, this is usually the same size as what they show on KDP. For instance, a 6.9, sorry, a 6, a 6 by 9 inch book is fairly standard on Amazon and a 8.5 by 11 inch is a fairly standard size for a colouring or activity book. So you would select that size and here you choose your interior and your paper type. And generally with our activity and colouring books, we're going to be choosing a black and white interior and uh, white paper. But there are options there to change that. You can change that depending on what you intend to do. Bleed, we have bleed set by default. And here we can set our pages. So when we set a new project, we can actually put in the pages and create that. It's much easier to do that at the start than to add pages as you go because the margins are set up when this document first starts. So if you know how many pages are in your colouring book or your activity book, you do this right from the start with your page numbers. Now generally when you're doing a colouring in book, you leave the page that's behind the 
image to be coloured, you leave that as a blank page. So if you're going to have 50 images, you would change this to 100. Allowing room for an introduction page, you might make it 101, 102 pages. So generally, your content, your colouring content would start on page 3 and page 4 would be blank and page 5 would be the next one, etc. all the way through till you get to the end of your colouring book. Having that blank page on the back allows for any pencil or paints that may be used when they're colouring in to bleed through the page without destroying anything that may be on the back of the page. Okay, I mentioned there are lots of tools. Here you can draw. If you're good at drawing <laughs> with your mouse, you can draw. You've got tools here to put different shapes in. Quite an extensive array of tools here to choose from. You have a text box and you can put in a, anything from a Word document that you may have typed. You can cut and paste that into the text here. We have pictures and you can set up folders. Like I said before, there's access to Pixabay images. Unsplash is another source of images that you can use and these are all for commercial free use. You can use them in your books without any copyright issues. It is suggested, however, that you do edit any image that you use and make it your own. I mentioned these to you earlier. If you want to design a diary, there are so many templates in BookBolt to choose from to design your pages, which you will duplicate. There is word puzzles, mazes to do. There are so many activity templates in here. You could fill up a book in no time with just activities for kids to do or even adult activities for that matter. So as you can see, there's a lot of value in BookBomb. And this is just a studio where you design your project, your book. Once you have completed, as I mentioned before, we download the entire package and it becomes a zip file and it's downloaded in the CMYK format, which is what's required for printed books. RGB is for computer, for graphics on a computer screen, whereas CMYK is for all printed materials, all your print on demand, including books. So that's important. If you're using other programs like Canva and Photoshop, you may need to make sure that you have your any color covers formatted in the CMYK and not RGB. And that's pretty much how BookBolt Studio works for designing your book. So I've now taken to, to the main page of BookBolt, the main login page. And this is where there are your tutorials, product searching, seller searching, a cloud search and a book scout. Now all these tools help you do the research to help you choose what type of book you want to create. It helps you choose a niche, it lets you know what books are selling and how to be competitive. There is also a keyword searcher within BookBolt to help you find keywords that you can include when you're listing your book on Amazon. The resources here are just phenomenal and worth every cent. As you can see, there are lots of videos here in relation to doing your research. There's your BookBolt lister, a KDB spy, a KDP category finder. There's so much information here uh, for you to go through. And on top of that, once you sign up for BookBolt, you get access to the weekly calls where the administrators will take you through and give you further training in relation to BookBolt and will discuss anything you want to discuss with them during those calls. It is great value and I recommend it as I mentioned before, you can sign up to BookBolt now and get a 20% discount on your subscription. I have the details in the description below. 
In my next video, I will be showing you more great KDP resources. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.